moving along here. Just wanted to give you guys a little update here. Uh, not much has changed UI wise. I found a couple of bugs here and there regarding some stuff. Uh, swapped the checkboxes here for the uh, slide switch that we use uh, in other places here um, and been getting the edit menus let me grab something that's got a bunch of chain values here all right uh, getting the edit menus working so each parameter uh, has a pop-up menu uh, right click pop-up menu uh, clone allows you to uh, copy values across channels um, so each parameter can either be copied to a single channel or to all channels. So, you know, if we copy level 45 here, channel 2, we'll see channel 2 now is 45, and the rest, of course, have 30 still. Uh, and we can also go and copy those to clone those to all of them, and you'll see now they all have 45. Um, two other options here are to set it to the default value. Um, which is, you know, the value that when you create a sample with the metadata here in, in Squid, uh, that is the value will be set to. So that's the default value. And then, of course, we can also revert back to the unchanged value. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's go set that to default and clone that back across all those channels and revert you. And now the save button is on. Uh, accessible because things are back to uh, what they were when we loaded it. Uh, anyway, so I've got that done for all of the parameters here. Um, and uh, I've got that done for, yeah, uh, for um, uh, all of the options on the CV signs. Uh, I, I think it might be interesting, probably not for 1.0, but I might extend this so that uh, currently you can only clone from CV1 to other CV1s of another channel, but uh, it might be interesting to clone to another CV within the same channel or another CV in another channel. So. Um, uh, maybe I'll make that a stretch goal, not sure. Uh, anyway, so that's done. All that stuff is done. Uh, there's no cloning or currently resetting of the Q stuff right now. Again, I, I may uh, do that in a post 1.0 release. Uh, and so now I'm moving on to the channel level edits. Um, so again, um, stuff's not uh, implemented yet. I'm actually working on default and revert currently for this. Uh, but the idea would be that you could clone just the settings. So you won't change the sample. You'll just change the settings, paste those into uh, other channels uh, or sample and settings. So let's say you wanted to work with the same sample with different settings on multiple channels. Uh, you could go ahead and clone that across and then go and make the minor adjustments if you wanted to. And again, same kind of thing I'm thinking of here with the CV assigns. Uh, you can clone all of the CV assigns for a given CV. Um, so let's say uh, the first level of this menu is going to be the CV, CV1, CV2, CV3, CV4, etc. Uh, and then the submenu off of that would be what channel you want to then clone that into. Uh, so a quick way to copy uh, CV assigns. I, I think that's interesting. Uh, swap, that would be you can swap two channels. Um, and that's a, actually a feature that's already on the squid sample. I forget what the key combo is to do that. Uh, quick way to clear all of the Q sets. So if you had created a whole bunch of Q sets and you just wanted to clear them, uh, clear Q sets then would clear all of those and just leave you with uh, the first one uh, set to the start and end uh, of that. Uh, and then of course default and revert works just like the parameter level. Uh, and then lastly, uh, this menu currently uh, will just have a default and a revert. So it would uh, do all channels default or all channels revert. So it's a one quick way to do that. Um, so yeah, that's
that's all coming along fine. Uh, also, um, I'm busy working on uh, some other stuff, uh, as you can see here, um, and so that's keeping me busy as well. But uh, hopefully in the next week or so, I will have all the edit stuff, uh, all these edit menu things done. And um, yeah, that, uh, oh, and tool tips. I gotta add tool tips so when you hover over any of these parameters, uh, you'll get some useful text to help remind you what things do. Uh, and then I think it's ready to go. Whee!